Level Engine here for some more C3 Let's Plays. There are still a few hacks I'm going to check out. A bit more content's been submitted as of today, so that's more stuff for me to check out. So I picked up this ROM hack, not by request, because it has some Castlevania elements in it. Well, Castlevania inspiration, and Fred's not gotten a lot of feedback, so I might as well just see what's going on. I mean, I am a, well, the older Castlevania games anyway. I don't really follow the newer stuff where it's Metroid-like maps. They say Metroidvania because the game just takes place in one giant castle and you see a Metroid-style map to orient yourself through the place. So, Guilherme F. Santos, yes him again, built the ROM hack that you'll clearly see it has inspiration from Castlevania. You can already look and see the rip from Brutal Mario. Yeah. It's actually done correctly, you know, like with the blackout in it. So I'm this character. I don't know what that is. It pops out of her back of her butt. It's like some weird. It's like it's like it looks like her spine is popping out. I might just be seeing things. Now she's got a cape on. Oh, so it's supposed to be Alicia or something. The of course, Rabbit the Kingdom. Okay. Her name is Darmila Dulb. Okay, now I know why. Is a thing because it's blood spot backwards. Vampire, Queen of Darkness, and Princess of Chaos, spreading evil wherever she went. Is she like an offspring of Dracula or something? And commanded their armies of her castle, and this all would change after the battle. Wit should be with, not wit. Alicia, a woman determined to put an end to all this after Dracula killed her family. Watching her beloved ones die and yours arms because of a curse by Darmilet. Yours arms. You should take the S out of yours. It's your arms, but yes. Not wanting anyone else to suffer like she did, she vowed to go and take. She takes Heaven's Whip and the Fury Dagger and goes to the Evil Castle in order to bring peace back. Are we actually gonna get a whip attack like Simon or Trevor Belmont? I'm guessing the whole game's gonna take place inside the castle, right? If this isn't being inspired by the newer Castlevania stuff. Wait, why the hell is Alicia a bat on the overworld? Is she part vampire? Beginning of the dark battle. So a hack that's loosely based off of Castlevania that has guide music and knockback. Well, the Castlevania, the early Castlevania games have knockback, so so does this. Oh god, knockback! Oh no, I just got away from that in Yoshi's Strange Quest. Now we're gonna have it here. Well, I just gotta be more careful next time. Alright, i going under there. If I get hit by the mall chain, I think I'm dead. Oh yeah, the green potion with wings that gave me a one-up. shot. I hope it doesn't turn out to be like this most of the way through. We're just still at the beginning of the dark battle because things. So far I haven't taken enough hits to die. I just got hit once and knocked back into a huge pit. There shouldn't be so much pit in your first level. Give them places to stand on. Especially since knockback back easily knock you into the pit. Like, like right now this Castlevania 3 and get the orb. It always feels good to hear that. Especially if the boss is really hard. Now we're going to the castle because we're going to have to work our way there. Save the game. Sea of Blood. The ship. 
Okay, so now I have another seal log right near the beginning of the game. Collision wasn't the only game to do that. So I still think this is gonna be way better in Collision. If it isn't, then like, there, this is. If it's not better in Collision, then it, it's just sad. Okay, wait. Are those supposed to be daggers she's throwing? Well, I can't throw them anymore. I just got hit by one of the cannonballs. Maybe I should try. If I were you, I'd try and find a shoe that shoots one way, so it doesn't look like the cannonballs are coming out the wrong end of the cannons. And yeah, we are in a seal blood. I wonder if we're gonna find Bathory Erzabet taking a bath here. I wonder whose blood this is. Is this the blood of countless victims who are sacrificed in some sort of demonic ritual or something? Yeah, that was the name of a Hungarian countess who would kidnap girls, lock them in their her castle, and then murder them, and then bathe in their blood. You're probably wondering how the hell I know this about this Hungarian countess from like the 7th, 8th century. It's because of a sun song of the same title. Pretty creepy song, I tell you. I just wish, the full, just wish it was like available on YouTube, like right off the album. Sucks. Can I solve the song on my computer? But yeah, hope someone gets around to uploading it. So anyway, so far so good, except for those giant pits at the beginning of the first level, and that Bowser statue shooting fire right next to the edge of one of the other bigger pits, where I just run into the flame, get knocked back in the opposite direction, and right into the pit. It's just like I'm playing Castlevania again, I tell you. Oh wow. Then again, I should probably have known by now that they were hiding in crates. Oh, there's more level. I guess you don't find the boss immediately when you go in the pipe. I probably played way too many Super Mario Bros. 3 to share shit. Oh, there's the ending! And I didn't even have to kill a boss to hear that. Okay, we can go to... Okay, we can play two levels. We have two levels unlocked. I'll play this one, because I don't know what's going on. Reap House and Lava. Oh, finally we're getting some Castlevania music! Okay, so this is like a top secret area. Alright, so if you stand here, it just heals all your health. Also, this is where you just get whatever power-ups you want. I'll take the capes and go to the next level. Dark forest, soaked in blood. Okay, now I think we're hearing Toho music. What's gonna be next? Mega Man music? We had some Castlevania music before. Now we're back to Toho. I think this is Toho. We're back to it. We were we had here before. Now we're in Toho. We're just missing Mega Man that will have all the music that we use in Anakini hacks. Or like most of it anyway. I mean, Anakin used a lot of songs from those games, and those games had awesome music, so yeah, put two and two together. I don't know what song this is, but it sounds oriental enough to be Toho, I guess. Oh my god, these are short levels. Anything back here? No. These are short levels! I'm probably gonna be done this in one video at this rate. Are all this short. I mean, can't even Castlevania stages are longer. Well, I know you move slower in those games, the earlier ones at least, than in this. We're almost already at the castle. Cross the broken bridge. Oh, there's some more Castlevania music. And some bright HDMI gradients to go with that. Lava, it seems to be below the broken bridge. Hammer Brothers and Spike Tops. I don't know if we're gonna find any skeletons. Okay, there's bats. We got bats. Okay, wait, what? Those pillars are actually solid? I mean, they didn't look like it to me. They really didn't look like they were solid, but I guess... I guess so. I was 
gonna say that moon was really easy to get, but then I screwed up. I better not have needed that switch. Now I feel like I'm right at home, throwing daggers at bats. Even though it's not the best sub weapon in Castlevania by any means. What is this? Okay, I got what seems to be a midpoint. Okay, you gotta kinda risk your life for that. Whip thing, but it's worth it. Oh, so that's the whip when she spins around. You have to spin around to use your whip? I've never seen anyone do it like that before. I've never seen Simon or Trevor do a 180 or a 360 to attack with their whip before. I mean, the screw attack in Shadow Striker was a lot weirder than this. I mean, the thing was literally attached to Samus's butt. And there I go, getting knocked back off into the lava again. Okay, this is embarrassing. I actually forgot to continue recording somehow, so I didn't even record like the second half of this level. Let's just say I got to the castle. Okay, maybe now this looks like it's gonna be longer. Is the castle gonna... Whoa! Okay. Okay, here's the overall map. It's... Literally a map of the castle. This is a cool idea in retrospect. We're literally getting a 2D view of the castle. I can go take the cave route or I can just run through the castle. If Castlevania 3 has told me anything, is that going through the cave route is harder. So we're gonna go here first. The entrance to hell. I'll take this way. I guess not. Maybe we have to go through the caves. I'm gonna mine. I think we have to go by the caves. I have to use the pipe. Inspired by Castlevania. I wasn't expecting this. It's not not that I not that I don't not that I mind. It, it, it's still a good song. It's just I wasn't expecting it. it. Just doesn't sound all like Castlevania to me. Maybe it does a bit. Oh man, this is gonna be annoying. Tiny platforms, chain jumps that move really damn fast. Knock back. Daggers this guy take? Like, five, of course. Okay, can I make this jump even? Oh, of course I can. Just spin jump and get the hell out of there. A lot of enemy projectiles in this place. Okay, just gotta look a bit closer to see how much health I have. The HDMA is kind of making it harder to see how much health you have. Yeah, this. Exactly. Careful how you use that. It's, it's actually obscuring the status bar. If you want to know how much health you have, you actually gotta kind of almost squint if your eyesight's really that bad. And if you know anything about what's this guy throwing, it looks like the guy's throwing axes. Yay, the whip again! The whip in game! That's very good to have. You can glide in the air. Trevor do that. Or Simon. Oh, well, that's a midpoint. Those statues are midpoints. I'm getting this now. Now I guess the levels are starting to get longer. Oh, I can pick two paths. I guess not. Oh, nice crystals. Her huntresses can have fun. Alright, so she's trying to swim. These look like some weird animation frame for the swimming. I've never seen anybody swim like this. 
Well, at least she can swim. Simon, Trevor, and well, well Trevor's allies, they don't even swim at all. They just die when they land in water. I guess he couldn't really learn how to swim a lot easily back in the 14th, well, the 15th century. They didn't have pools back then, I don't think. Maybe they did. This is not the kind of pools I'm thinking of. Alright, I should be careful. Well, there goes the shell. I was probably gonna try to use to knock this guy out. But. Let's take a shell and use it. Alright, there's a pipe I can go in. If I take this pipe, what happens? I fight a Goomba. That's already dead. What did I get for fighting that Goomba? Oh, yellow switch. Seriously? A Goomba? Out of all the things you could have had Alicia fight in a Castlevania inspired hack and you picked a Goomba? Maybe I've at least changed its graphics to make it look like something you'd have found out of the Castlevania series. Maybe something severed head. Okay, maybe that's a little morbid. But the Goomba. We can go this way if we want to now, so. Oh, right. You can't walk on those pillars, though. Okay, I can run across those little one block gaps. Just run for a few screens once you got the L switch. If you don't, you side exit. Oh man, this run goes on forever. No, not really. That was a long run, I hope I don't have to do it again. Okay, good thing that thing is just decoration. That looks like a big enemy. Castlevania in this sort of, and I died. Can I get the Fury Daggers? That, that's what he calls them. Okay, this guy's on the ground when he lands. Let's keep in mind that. Wow, oh, Roto Discs. I probably could have taken a few extra steps to be even more Castlevania-esque. Graphics already do give a nice touch. This was maybe some of the enemies would have been re Even though it's probably like a lot of work. I'm not really not that good at respreading enemies, so maybe I shouldn't be asking you too much. It still would have been nice as hell to see though. What? Okay, so sometimes the sound breaks in the past is actually should. Next part. 